In this video, we're going to dive into the world of transformers. No, not the ones that turn into cars, but the ones that handle language and data. Let's keep it light and fun. Grab our coffee and tea, because now we are going to start. Transformers were introduced by a team of researchers from Google Brain in their groundbreaking paper, Attention is All You Need. This was published in 2017 revolutionized natural language processing by introducing a new way to handle sequence data using attention mechanisms. In this video, we are going to focus on the transformers architecture and later we'll focus on the attention mechanism part. So let's kick it off. The process begins with input embeddings, which transforms each token in the input sequence into a high dimensional vector. It essentially gives the model a way to understand the text in a numerical form, which is essential for the magic that happens next. For example, if the input is a sequence like, you know, transformers are awesome, each word, transformers are awesome, is converted into a unique vector. This step is crucial for converting discrete tokens into continuous representation that the model can process. Next, the positional encoding is added to the input embeddings. This step incorporates information about the position of each token in the sequence, allowing the model to recognize the order of the tokens. The core component in the encoder is the multi-head attention mechanism. This powerful feature enables the model to focus on different parts of the input sequence simultaneously. Now, you might wonder, why does it have multiple arrows as inputs? These arrows represent different heads in the multi-head attention mechanism, each learning to focus on different aspects of the input data. For example, consider a sentence like the cat sat on the mat. One head might focus on the relationship between cat and mat to understand the context, while other head might focus on the sequence sat on the to grasp the attention taking place? This multifaceted approach allows the model to capture various patterns and relationships within the data. After the multi-head attention layer does its job, the output goes through an add and norm layer. Think of it as a way to keep everything balanced. It adds a shortcut connection, residual connection to the output, which helps the model remember important information. Then, it normalizes the results to keep things in check, making sure the learning process stays smooth and stable. After the multi-head attention layer, the data moves to a feed-forward network. This part of the model acts like a fine-tuning tool. It takes the information and applies a series of transformations to make it more precise and useful. The network first uses linear transformations, which adjust the data based on weighted sums kind of like adjusting the volume on a stereo. Then it applies non-linear activation functions, which help the model understand more complex patterns by adding curves to the data's representation. The final add a norm step ensures that the refined data is ready for the next stages, like decoding or further processing by stabilizing the output and enhancing efficiency. In some cases, the models may skip the multi-head attention and feed forward layers. This bypass occurs when the direct input or previously refined information is already sufficient, making further processing unnecessary. This shortcut often facilitated by the residual connections in the add and norm layers helps in reducing computational load and preventing overfitting by not overcomplicating the process of well understood data. The sequence of multi-head attention at the normative forward layers is repeated multiple times, and this is denoted by the NX, to build deep representations of the input layer. Now, let's do a quick summary here. By utilizing input embeddings and positional encoding, the model prepares data for complex processing. The multi-head attention mechanism, followed by feed-forward networks, allows the model to focus on different parts of the data and refine it effectively. 
add enorm layers ensure stability and efficiency throughout the learning process. And the model can even skip some layers when appropriate, optimizing computational resources. In the decoder, we begin with the output embeddings, which work similarly to the input embeddings, but focuses on the target sequence. This step converts each token of the output sequence into a high dimensional vector, preparing it for further processing. Just like with the input embeddings, we add positional encoding to these vectors to preserve the order of the tokens, which is crucial for generating coherent outputs. For instance, if the model is translating from English to French, the output embedding would take the French uh, sentence, les transformateurs sont génieux, and convert each word into a numerical vector. Positional encoding would then help the model understand the sequence, ensuring le is recognized as the first word and genieux as the last, maintaining the correct grammatical order. And, side note, what do you think of my accent? Terrible, right? Anyway, so in the decoder, we have a masked multi head attention. This mechanism is slightly different from the regular multi head attention used the encoder. The masked part means that when the model is generating an output, it can't see the future tokens in the sequence. It only attends to the tokens that have already been processed. This is crucial for tasks like language translation or text generation, where the model needs to predict the next word based on the previous ones without knowing the future words. The mask ensures that the model only uses past and present information, not future data that it hasn't generated yet. And this helps maintain the sequence natural flow and prevents the model from cheating by looking ahead. Just like in the encoder, the decoder has add and norm layers. They help the model combine the new information with what it already knows, keeping the data consistent and well scaled. In the Decoder, the multi-head attention layer, has a unique role. It takes inputs from two sources, the encoder and the previously decoded outputs. The first set of inputs comes from the encoder's add and norm layers, which contains the processed information from the entire input sequence. The second set comes from the add and norm layer in the encoder that processes the partially generated outputs shifted right outputs. This dual input allows the decoder to align the current output with relevant parts of the input sequence, ensuring that the translation or generation considers both source content and the context established by the previously decoded tokens. This mechanism is crucial for maintaining coherence and relevance. At the top right corner of the decoder, the add and norm layer plays a crucial role. It takes the combined information from the multi-head attention layers and stabilizes it. This layer, again, helps maintain consistency. The layers in both the encoder and decoder are repeated multiple times, as indicated by the NX notation. These repeated layers consist of the multi-head attention, add and norm, and feed-forward components. This repetition allows the model to build deep and complex representations of the input data, enabling it to learn the patterns. Each layer refines the information further, enhancing the model's ability to understand and generate accurate uh, predictions. This stacking of layers is essential and key to the powerful performance of transformers. The linear layer is the final transformation step before generating predictions. It takes the output from the feedforward layer and projects it into the space of the target vocabulary. Essentially, this layer translates the complex high-dimensional data into a format where each dimension corresponds to a potential output token. And then after the linear layer, the data passes through a softmax function. This function converts the raw scores from the linear transformation into probabilities. It does this by exponentiating each score and then normalizing these values so that they can sum to 1. The final output from the transformer model is a set of output probabilities. 
These probabilities indicate the likelihood of each token being the correct next word in the sequence. By selecting the token with the highest probability, the ball generates its predictions. The decoder in the transformer model plays a crucial role in generating outputs based on the input sequence and previously generated tokens. It starts with output embeddings and positional encoding to structure the data. The masked multi-head attention ensures the model uses only past and present tokens, maintaining logical flow. This is followed by multi-head attention that connects the output with relevant input features aided by an add and norm layers. The feedforward network refines the information and the linear layer projects it into the output space with a softmax function, uh, converting these into probabilities. And of course, this will lend to the final uh, prediction. In summary, the transformer architecture is composed of two main parts, the encoder and the decoder. Each consists of several layers that process and refine input data to generate meaningful outputs. The encoder transforms input sequences into detailed representations using input embeddings, positional encoding, multi-head attention, and feed-forward networks. In the encoder and decoder, multi-head attention plays a central role by allowing the model to focus on various aspects of the input data simultaneously. This attention mechanism is complemented by add norm layers to maintain stability and prevent information loss. The feedforward networks provide further refinement, ensuring that the data is processed efficiently and effectively. The decoder's unique feature, the masked multi-head attention, ensures proper sequence generation by preventing the models from seeing future tokens during training. The final stage involves converting the refined data into probabilities using a linear layer followed by a soft max function. This produces the model's predictions, such as translating a sequence or generating text. The transformer's architecture, with its powerful attention mechanisms and deep processing capabilities, excels in tasks like anything related to language. This comprehensive yet efficient design allows for high accuracy and flexibility in handling various types of sequential data. It was a long one. It was a very, very dense uh, video. But I hope that this helps with the theoretical part behind transformers and LLMs. I'll see you in the next video.